So this question says an object moves in a circle. And if we triple the mass, so we go from a small car to a large truck, and we have the speed, so say 60 miles an hour down to 30 miles an hour, and we go around the same curve, and the radius remains unchanged, what is the magnitude of the centripetal force that must be applied on, uh, multiplied by a factor of? So we want to, it's a ratio problem. And when it says centripetal force, it really means the net force that provides a centripetal acceleration. So it provides a centripetal acceleration of AC. So when we say centripetal force, we mean the force that provides a centripetal acceleration, or the net force that provides a centripetal acceleration. So I know that sigma f is equal to mv squared over r. This is just my definition of centripetal acceleration it has a very specific form and I know that my net force when I look at this my new net force my new net force is going to be equal to something that's three times our mass half our speed and the same radius so if I look at what f prime is that's going to be 3 over 4 times m v squared over r. 3 as a factor there and 2 squared as a factor in front, which allows me to look at this and go that eventually, if I make sure that I write on the page, our sum of our forces, our new sum of our forces, is equal to 3 fourths times the old sum of the forces. That value right there is my old force, so I know I have to multiply by a factor of three force in order for um, in order for me to do the same curve with half the speed but three times the mass.